Welcome back guys to another episode of Stand Man, where today we're going to be showing you what you can and can't eat. Okay guys, so today we're going to be meeting up with Dr. Dr. Again. He has something very important to discuss with us. Never eat that. Hello, Dr. Doctor. Hold on, just a second. Oh, just a second. Hey, hello, Dr. Doctor. Nice to meet you. No, take a seat anywhere. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Okay, so, Dr. Doctor showed me a lot of things. First off, he showed me a food that you can very much eat. It is very healthy for you, although it is kind of disgusting. Um, so you have to be a very tough person to eat it, which uh, Dr. Doctor is obviously not. Um, Dr. Doctor also discussed some things with me that I am not going to leave in the recording. Um, but he most importantly showed me this food chart showing you what you cannot and can eat. As you can see, none of these food groups, except for McDonald's, are good to eat. No, no, don't do that. None of these. No fork. But McDonald's, yes. Yes, McDonald's. But, yeah, this is, this is outdated, so... Check this out. This is amazing. Ooh. This is one of my newest inventions. Um, I'm calling it the Umbrella because the Umber is the technical term for light when it comes down. And the and the Ella was this girl I knew. She was good at blocking people out of her life. So this is the Umbra. Wow! Blocks amazing. What does it do? It blocks the the sun comes down and it doesn't hit you because oh, it's, it's amazing. What? No, watch. This is the best part. Um, you know when it precipitates and like the water comes down and Oh, you mean when it pees? Yeah. So, um it won't it actually actually this is kind of revolutionary. It doesn't go on your head. It actually goes like somewhere else. Interesting. So you could probably take this. Um Yeah. What do you think about that? Amazing. Guys, this is amazing. I don't know how Dr. Doctor came up with all this. But, it's revolutionary. Humanity will never be the same again. So guys, we're off on our adventure. We're gonna show you what foods to eat and not to eat in out in the water. What are you doing over there? I forgot what you said. What did you say about these? What are they called? They're called Pot. Yeah. Sometimes you find you have to use the bathroom for a while. But you're not gonna like pee on a hole. So you find one of these. They're fairly common. And though they are gross, it is still better than peeing in dirt. Okay, so I had no idea this. I used to pee everywhere in my mouth on the ground until this guy came along. You're supposed to go to the bathroom and you tell me that. Yeah. Wow, and they're natural. Yeah. That's crazy. Find them all over. What's this? Something for later. Mm. Okay, guys, we're completely famished. Yeah, I am so but hungry right now. I know a way to find completely natural frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt? Right. Wait, that's natural? Just smell around. There it is. Oh, yep, I smelled it. There it is. See, this guy's an expert. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You gotta take a sample of it first, right? You gotta check that it's safe. Oh, sorry. Okay. We 
can use it later. We're gonna use it in a stew. What? Some places in the wild, they usually, you can use them to find the nearest location for a big, so you think, wait, so you're trying to big, say, a lot of food. Trying to say this is telling us where food is? Yeah. But how do you know that though? Like, how can you tell? Because, as you can see, it says burger. And the burger is a type of food, and it's got an arrow pointing. And when you find it, wow. you can usually decipher that food is somewhere in that direction. Yeah, when I'm with you, I look at every single day. It's incredible. Yeah. That's my job. Oh! Get down! What? It's just a cute little bunny. Oh my god, it knows smoke. Oh god. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Oh my god, that was a close one. I always keep a gun on hand in case of any walks. Yeah, these things are so dangerous. You know those 15,000 deaths last year from Borks? Mm. You gotta be careful around these. Yeah. They're really tricky. I'm glad we killed it. Wow. How much do we think we can sell its beak for? Um, they actually sell for a lot on the black market. Yeah, probably like half a million. We should probably cut this out of the video. Oh yeah, what, what video? So I'm hungry! I need something to eat. I'm gonna starve to death. What is that? What? Oh, I am not sure. It says B on the front, I think. Oh, just a second. Let me check my notes. It has food, it has food, it has food! To go in there! What? Wait, we need to what? put on disguise, otherwise I'll notice us. Oh, yeah, that's smart. I'm ready. Stay here. Best way to get food in nature, just so you know. I think it's feet's cooking. Yes, yes, that. Always look out for that in the nature. Yeah. Stan, what do you what do you have there? So I hunted down some wild donuts. Oh, uh huh. You can uh -huh. skin them and take their meat. I heard they're pretty and dangerous. Fry them, and you get these. Wow. How healthy is that? Very healthy. Nice. Plants we got gathered earlier. Yeah. I combined those into a drink. Nice. Very edible. This is very healthy. Um, but the thing is, you have to get the plants exactly right. If you mess up one ingredient, it will taste awful. You could get food poisoning. It's very dangerous. But I've mastered this craft of making this. I call it sprit. Ah. It's very cool. Seems useful. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. We need to find shelter now. We are full, so that will help us. But um, since it will take all our energy to try and find shelter, we're gonna need to stop this video. So we'll see you on the next episode of Stand the Man. Hey, come here. I can tell you. I can tell you a secret. People who go out into the wild, this is what they always use. Look, you don't need to tell anybody. It will keep you safe, though. Thank you. Too much stuff to get. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it actually, it actually broke. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> to be fair, though, that's a weak can. <laughs> <laughs>